and guess what? I woke up and I got a trip award to India. New Delhi, India. Yes, people. All of a sudden, my anxiety went like up to the roof here. Talk about the life of a flight attendant. Last second, I'm going to New Delhi. I don't know why I'm nervous. I've been there before. Actually, that was my last trip uh, back in March, uh, international uh, COVID. So at least I'll know kind of I have been there before and I kind of know um, the hotel and everything. I just don't know how it is during COVID. I know they are, you could do anything um, as long as you wear a mask everywhere. And I'm not sure about the indoors. And where we stay is like a compound. I must be dreaming. No, you're not. Oh my God, I've been waiting almost 20 hours to take off this mask. The flight was uh, 16 hours, an hour before the flight, an hour to get here. And wearing a mask, have you ever worn a mask while you're sleeping? This is a beautiful room. It's about 2 a.m. here in the morning. So I'm gonna get out of this monkey suit here. I'll give you guys a room tour. Um, I've been here before and I think I showed the room before, but it's been a while, so I'll give you guys a nice thorough room tour after I get out of this clothes. Here's another closet that has, of course, the iron ironing board. And uh, they have a complimentary um, dry cleaning for a full uniform and shoe shining. I'm going to put that robe on in a few minutes. Check out this bathroom. Separate toilet, sink, amenities for days. Everything from a loofah scrub, shaving kit, vanity, dental. They even have bath salts. Still having trouble with Zoom, sorry. Look at this separate bathtub. Look how big the shower is. This is the full shower. Put the shower head, let's walk in. And then uh, you can close your bathtub doors or Keep it open and look straight out into the bedroom. This right here is the refrigerator. They offer a, a crew room service menu. We can order uh, at discounted prices. That is the king size bed. Big, huge, flat screen TV with dish TV. Big desk for editing. Nice place for sofa. Even have the shoes. And then you can't see nothing here at nighttime, but I'll show you guys in the morning. Yeah, it's too dark. I forgot one of our crew members' birthday is today, so the hotel was nice enough to give us a hotel suite and um, I think cake or cookie or something like that. So even though it's two in the morning, I probably won't eat the cake, but I'm just gonna say happy birthday and get my butt back in the bed so I can get an early start tomorrow. So my flying partner was so gracious to bring a homemade bunt cake and then the hotel staff brought that and then they brought the little stuff over there and a little happy birthday sign. 
And then this is the sweet. Just wait. Happy birthday, <laughs> birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patty. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Love for candles. Yeah. <laughs> so now, now I'm so current me and we want to sing a song for you guys for you oh. especially. Oh. Bring us a birthday girl in Hindi. Which is our native language, uh -huh. and we will say a few words, few Are words in Hindi. It? Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. I got it. Shall we start? Second. Yeah. One, two, two, three. Bar bar din ye aaye, bar bar dil ye gaaye. Tum jiyo hazaro saal ye meri hai arzu. Happy birthday to you, Lala. Happy birthday to you, Patricia. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> does mean that uh, you know uh, every time this day comes and every time like you know we celebrate together and may wish may we wish that you know you will live thousand years <laughs> <laughs> so this, this day comes every day not every year uh -huh. every day uh -huh. and there's no never ending to it right so the day remains the same. Happy to go every day. Oh, <laughs> That's what the meaning of this. this you guys are awesome. Thank and I will remember that. <laughs> Thank you very much. You Namaste. So okay, good to be back in this room. It is about three o'clock in the morning. It's probably um, it's probably uh, about noon in the afternoon in California. So I don't know if I'm asleep or awake or wet. But let's talk about that flight. Oh my goodness. I had done an Indian flight to Delhi uh, back in March pre-COVID time and uh, so I had been here before but I forgot how high maintenance um, that flight is. I worked in the economy we were about half full but it felt like we were oversold it's just non-stop working um, just even just something something as a beverage trying to figure out what they want to drink and how many drink orders they want seeming to be popular with probably hot water so if you ever worked an Indian flight make sure you have a pot of hot water uh, all the coffees require um, milk and sugar so we just combine the coffee with the milk and have it all ready um, a lot of juices too there was a lot of apple juice and um, orange juice and thing juice <laughs> they were using it they wiped our soda bin out. I mean, wow. Um, I had a great crew with somebody's birthday, as you saw. Um, that was kind of cool. Um, tonight, I'm just going to crash in that bed. It looks so good <laughs> sitting over there. I can't wait to get in it. And then get up early and do some local sightseeing, go to the market, pick up some spices, and um, maybe like a massage and a pedicure. It's very cheap here. And then on the next day, there's three of us going to the Taj Mahal. Um, we're hoping. <laughs> we're trying to figure it out now. And then this, a lot of the crew members are also, they have been to the Taj Mahal. They're going to the Elephant Sanctuary. They are going to like bathe them, not ride them, but just bathe them and um, take care of them. They're rescue elephants from zoos and um, circuses and all those things. And um, that's it. I'm here for 48 hours. I'm looking forward to some good food. The buffet here is amazing. And um, COVID-wise, um, well, first of all, I started off from San Francisco, and I think I've taken maybe at least five or six temperature checks from leaving my condo to my parking garage to the airport to the uh, Delhi airport, to the driver to get on the van, to, to get into the gate area of the hotel. They came on our van, took our temperature, and then to get in the hotel itself. Um, I mean like overload on temperature checking and um, they have all the social distance just like anywhere else. Um, every time you go in and out, you have to do the temperature check. And um, that was it. Yeah, it's pretty much um, like USA. They're making sure they're having their issues. They're, they are spiking up on numbers, I think, in India, but nowhere near the United States. They have it more um, leadership here, <laughs> what to say it that way. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. Can y'all tell I'm tired? <laughs>
Bye, girl, bye. In the next video, come along with me as I explore the sights, the sounds, and the music, and the culture of India, and I end up in one of the seven wonders of the world, the life of a flight attendant. Is this the church? No, mosque. Mosque.